Severe rainfall has pounded the south. We're still urging our citizens to stay home. Let this, let the city dry out. At least nine people have been killed in Texas and Oklahoma. A dozen others are still missing. More than 10 inches of rain fell overnight in the Houston area. Homes were destroyed, highways turned into rivers. There's still a significant por portion of the city that is affected by the floods. Houston Mayor Anise Parker says rescue workers are scrambling to clear roads quickly so they can find and save any stranded citizens. We've got cars littered all over the, the, the city. And as the floodwaters go down, that's one of the things we're doing to, to make sure that no one was trapped in those vehicles. President Obama said Tuesday he promised Texas Governor Greg Abbott federal aid for rescue operations. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families and the communities that have been affected by some of these devastating record-breaking floods. Among the victims, 18-year-old Alyssa Renee Ramirez, who died Saturday night while driving home from her senior prom. She was at prom with her date and, you know, laughing, dancing next to her. Her aunt says her niece loved helping people and had strong faith in God. For the family, uh, knowing that she is, is in a better place brings a sense of peace. As the waters recede in Texas, the trouble is just getting started in neighboring states. The system will now make its way east through Louisiana and Mississippi. Flash flood warnings and watches are in effect. In Wimberley, Texas, I'm Jan Pomerantz.